Hello friends, in today's video lab, we are going to see how to map network drives on Windows client by using group policy preference. Mapping a network drive is one of the most common jobs for administrator. In the past, we used to use a script, but there is a group policy settings that can save us a scripting effort, and that is group policy preference. Group policy preferences is a feature that was included with Windows Server 2008 and has been a part of Windows Server ever since. So in this video lab, we'll look at how to map a drive through group policy preferences. For this demonstration, as you can see, we have a one OU named HR team and under HR team, I have a two user named David Smith and Justin Roy. Both users are member of our group, HR users. Now, first of all, we need to create a one share folder to create a map drive. And on our D drive, already I created one folder named HR data. Now, let's go back to our server manager, click on file and storage service, click on share and select new share select smb share quick profile to create this share folder now here let's specify the custom path that is a folder name hr data select the folder so the local path will be d colon slash hr data we want to create a hidden share that's why i'm going to put a dollar sign at the end of the shared name this is the path of our share click on next now let's select enable access this enumeration to provide an additional level of security Click on next. Now, as you can see, the share permission is already in full control. Let's customize the NTFS permission. And as you can see, the by default, all users are member of this users groups. And that's why I'm going to remove this. So to do that, we have to first disable the inheritance and then we are able to remove this entry. Now let's add our group. The group name is HR users. Click on check name. Click on OK. Now give them a allow permission on this folder only. Click on show advanced permission and select date for this and append data. Click on OK. Click on apply. Click on OK and click on next and click on create to create the share folder. And as you can see the share was successfully created. Click on close. So this is your share name as your data. Now to create a group policy, first of all we have to open a group policy management console by clicking on tools, select group policy management to open the console. On Azure team, uh, already we created one policy name folder redirection in our last video. That's why we have our one uh, existing group policy object. But we want to create a new GPU for this demonstration as well. So select create a GPU in this domain and link it here. Now let's specify the name of our group policy object. Let's specify the name map draw GPU and click on OK. Now here we have our uh, group policy object. Just right click on it and select edit to edit the group policy object. This will open a group policy management editor. Under user configuration, you will see preferences is there. X1 preferences. Under the window setting, you can see drive maps are there. Now let's uh, right click on it and select new, select map drive. Now this will open a new drive properties console. And on that console, we have a total four type of actions available. Create, replace, update and delete. For this demonstration, we want to create a map drive. That's why I'm going to select create. Now let's specify the location. In our case, the share folder's location will be lab. This is row one slash HR data and the dollar sign is there. So this is the path. If you want to reconnect the map drive, that time you have to select this box. And if you want to specify a customized label, like let's specify customized label HR data. And for drive later, I'm going to use the particular drive later and the drive later will be M. So this will be the drive data for our map drive. Okay, and uh, under hide, so this drive or all drive, we're not going to change anything. So that will be remain selected, no change. Click on apply. Click on OK. And as you can see, so this is the path of our share folder. And the drive data will be M. And the action for this map drive is create. Now let's test the uh, group policy on our client computer. So this is our Windows 10 client computer and now let's log in with our user named David Smith. So once you log into Windows 10 computer, let's open a file explorer and click on this PC. Now to this PC, you can see there is a one map drive named Azure Data and the drive later is M. So in this way, you can create a map drive on a client computer by using group policy preferences. So in the next video, we will see how to create a map drive by using item level targeting with group policy preference. Hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching this video.